Good day everyone! We are the Group 2A from BN3B. I am Omje Dagohoy and together with me are Aryan Conlu, Daniel Cueva, Prasarli Despojo, and Charles Dunesa. We are here to present a research entitled Lived Experiences of Nursing Students in Coping with Perceived Stress During COVID-19 Pandemic. Stress is prevalent among student nurses who are learning in a flexible online setting. They had increased stress after the lockdown. Fourth-year students have the highest stress levels and the lowest coping score, which indicates that they have a hard time adjusting to the stress brought by the pandemic. For the purpose of the study, this study aimed to explore the lived experiences of nursing students in coping with perceived stress during the COVID-19 pandemic. The perceived stress of each participant impacted all aspects of life, in particular, the education of student nurses. The study's objective is to allow the depth of understanding towards student stress through collected themes. The research project will enlighten the minds of a small group of researchers and various demographics. For research design, a qualitative research design utilizing the phenomenological research approach is used in the study. Phenomenology explores human experiences in meaningful ways and interprets those experiences with a more profound understanding. It is a better approach in line with the researcher's aim, which is to understand student nurses' perspective on stress amidst COVID-19 pandemic. In gathering the data, an in-depth interview was conducted. This method allowed researchers to have a rich understanding of the participants' perspective and gave them a more comprehensive and more precise picture of what was happening, thus allowing them to have a better understanding of the phenomenon. For the participants, this research study utilized non-probability purposive sampling and selecting the participants, where eight participants from a local university of a college city were chosen based on the inclusion criteria set. The inclusion criteria were as follows. Either male or female, 18 years old and above, belongs either Section A, B, C, or D, has limited internet connectivity status, this list there for two consecutive years, and belongs to the level four. The participants were equipped with knowledge that provided all the data necessary to support our claims. The participants' anonymity were maintained by using pseudonyms. Theme 1 is Dubasans to Attaining Nursing Education. This theme tackles the obstacles and worries that student nurses encounter while taking nursing education in the midst of a pandemic. Sub-theme 1A is Academic Dissatisfaction. This sub-theme talks about the complaints and disapprovals of the participants' form name regarding the quality of nursing education that they receive. Sub-theme 1B is Extra Work, Extra Stress. Nursing students do not only worry about their nursing education. They also worry about other things that may or may not be related to nursing at all. Sub theme 1C is fear of the future. The insufficiency of the application skills and the ambiguity of where, how, and when they will do the training to compensate for their current inadequate skills can contribute to the growing anxiety and stress of students. Theme 2 is external factors causing stress. This theme discusses the outside institutional factors that influence their stress. Sub-theme 2A is stress caused by technological resources. According to the findings of the study, many students were impacted by the disturbance of online classes caused by technological concerns as higher education institutions have shifted to virtual programs. Sub-theme 2B is stress caused by social relationships. Disrupted relationships such as conflicts in the family can be the root cause of stress. Sub-theme 2C is pandemic-induced stress. Modifications during the height of the pandemic developed stress among student nurses. Theme 3 is keeping up with the stressors. This tackles the student nurses' coping mechanisms to cope with the stressor they are facing. Sub-theme 3A is persisting through recreation. This sub-theme talks about the activities that the participants use to cope with the stressors and how these activities help their academic performance and health. Sub-theme 3B is problem-focused coping. This sub-theme encompasses the most operative attempts and efforts in order to handle stressful circumstances in order to improve or remove the stressors through behaving individually. Sub-theme 3C is unproductive diversions. There are coping techniques that are negative, such as those that are hurtful, unhealthy, or harmful. 
Theme 4 is efficacy of habitual coping. This tackles the effects of the usual coping mechanisms of the student nurses in confronting the stressors in their lives. Sub-theme 4A is effects of coping on academic performance. This sub-theme depicts the common effects on nursing students concerning their academic performance. Sub-theme 4B is effects of coping on health. Responses here indicate that calmness and relaxation is the primary effect of managing stress on the health of nursing students. Sub-theme 4C is effects of not coping. These are the effects of not addressing the stressors before it becomes too severe to handle. In conclusion, findings include that coping is relevant in their daily routine as they find it beneficial, that the effects of coping can eliminate feelings of stress and encourage them to perform better in both university and personal life. It was emphasized throughout the study that excellent stress management skills and fostering a healthy school environment are essential. Factors that influence student nurses' stress were brought by the challenges of shifting from actual to online classes. On the other hand, external factors cause stress as well, in which intermittent internet productivity, power interruptions, family conflicts, as well as social restrictions influence it. As a result, stress are being managed by engaging enjoyable activities, seeking help, and giving breaks to oneself. Coping does influence better performance in both activities in class, but the lack of it may have negative effects such as deep deprivation. As stress remains constant and present, the efficacy of coping from utilizing a variety of coping mechanisms is necessary to prevent it. Recommended to the Commission on Higher Education implement and establish health-related policies and regulations in clear and relevant topics from the curriculum. To the College of Nursing Administrators, should at least take into account and respond to students' requests, not just merely listening but as well as taking action. For the clinical instructors, should consider limiting students' workload and provide clear instructions for each and every task in order to promote more holistic learning experience. For the guidance and evaluation counselors to be more welcoming and make students more comfortable sharing their thoughts and worries. To the parents to create a better environment for the children. Recommended for students to recognize that there are strategies that they can use through this difficult period. Lastly, it is recommended to the future researchers to design new ideas in the improvement of the students' health. That brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching.